Hello and welcome to Dear Doctor. Today, we are going to discuss a very common topic that many people may be interested in, the New Year Diet. What are some of the popular diets that people may search for in the New Year, and are they safe and effective? Let's find out. The New Year is a time when many people may want to change their eating habits to lose weight or improve their health. Some of the popular diets that people may search for include Intermittent fasting, this is a type of eating pattern that involves alternating periods of eating and fasting. The idea is to reduce the total calorie intake and improve metabolic health by giving the body a break from digestion. Some of the benefits of intermittent fasting may include weight loss, lower blood sugar, lower blood pressure, and lower inflammation. However, this diet may also cause hunger, fatigue, irritability, headaches, dehydration, and nutrient deficiencies. It may not be safe for people who have diabetes, low blood pressure, eating disorders, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. Estrogen-rich foods, this is a type of diet that focuses on eating foods that contain phytoestrogens, which are plant compounds that can mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. Some of the foods that are rich in phytoestrogens include soy, flax seeds, sesame seeds, berries, and apples. The idea is to balance the hormones and prevent or treat symptoms of menopause, such as hot flashes, mood swings, and bone loss. Some of the benefits of estrogen-rich foods may include improved skin, hair, and nails, reduced risk of breast cancer, and improved cognitive function. However, this diet may also cause bloating, gas, nausea, and diarrhea. It may also affect the thyroid function, the blood clotting, and the breast tissue. It may not be safe for people who have hormone-sensitive conditions, such as endometriosis, fibroids, or breast cancer or are taking hormone replacement therapy or birth control pills. Keto Diet this is a type of low-carb, high-fat diet that aims to put the body into a state of ketosis, where it burns fat instead of glucose for energy. Some of the foods that are allowed on the keto diet include meat, fish, eggs, cheese, butter, cream, nuts, seeds, and non-starchy vegetables. Some of the foods that are avoided on the keto diet include grains, beans, fruits, sugar, and alcohol. The idea is to lose weight, improve blood sugar, and reduce inflammation by switching the fuel source of the body. Some of the benefits of the keto diet may include rapid weight loss, lower appetite, lower blood pressure, and lower triglycerides. However, this diet may also cause keto flu, which is a set of symptoms that include headache, nausea, fatigue, constipation, and bad breath. It may also cause kidney stones, liver problems, muscle loss, and vitamin and mineral deficiencies. It may not be safe for people who have kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. Vegan diet. This is a type of plant-based diet that excludes all animal products, such as meat, dairy, eggs, and honey. Some of the foods that are eaten on the vegan diet include vegetables, fruits, grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, and plant-based alternatives. The idea is to protect the animals, the environment, and the health by avoiding the consumption of animal products. Some of the benefits of the vegan diet may include weight loss, lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, and lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. However, this diet may also cause protein deficiency, iron deficiency, calcium deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, and iodine deficiency. It may also cause digestive issues, such as bloating, gas, and constipation. It may not be safe for people who have allergies, intolerances, or sensitivities to certain plant foods or are pregnant or breastfeeding. These are some of the popular diets that people may search for in the new year, but are they safe and effective for everyone? The answer is no. Not all diets are suitable for everyone, and they may have different effects on different people. 
Some of the risks of following these diets without proper guidance or supervision may outweigh the benefits. Therefore, it is important to speak to a health professional before making any drastic changes to one's eating habits. Making smaller and sustainable changes to one's eating habits is the safest and most effective way to stay healthy. Some of the tips for making healthy eating habits include Eating a variety of foods from different food groups, such as vegetables, fruits, grains, protein, and dairy or alternatives. Eating in moderation and avoiding overeating or undereating. Eating mindfully and enjoying the food without distractions or guilt. Eating regularly and avoiding skipping meals or snacking too much. Eating according to one's individual needs and preferences, and not following fad diets or trends. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.